What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We get you on the grind and improve your mind. In this video, we're gonna to react to the new She-Hulk trailer. It's part of our MCU, we're gonna have a video coming on that soon. So let's just dive into it and hear our automatic thoughts about the She-Hulk trailer and how it can help you improve your mind. Let's go. All right guys, so we're just gonna jump right in. We're gonna to react to the She-Hulk trailer and see what kind of crap the media is putting in our brains this time. Yeah, so I'll put the trailer up. This literally came out an hour ago as we're recording this. So this will go up tomorrow, which is the day that you're watching it, hopefully. And so let's watch it now. Being a superhero is a trial by fire. Who's going to protect the world if not people like you? Of course. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a lawyer. I have great friends. Can we get some shots, please? It's an emergency. A demanding job. We just started a superhuman law division, and I want you to be the face of it. And a frustrating family. Because we didn't ask for this, but you still got to deal with it. Your transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. Whoa. Oh. Yes! Sounds like no! No! I just want to be a normal, anonymous lawyer. Can you tell us where She-Hulk is? Jen, you're a story now. Girl, Guys, your you're ass looks so crazy right now. Right now. <laughs> you could be an Avenger. Oh, I'm not a superhero. That is for billionaires and narcissists and adult orphans for some reason. Is there anything more depressing than dating in your 30s? Oh, my This is the best yeah. thing I've had. Wow. Oh. Should we split some fries? Let's get those to go. Oh, my God. All right, let me just be the... Before Mike lets his inner thoughts out, because Mike has a lot of good wisdom as well, I'm not going to watch this show. I have decided here and now during the recording of this video, I'm not going to watch it. I mean, I, I think Mike is going to take one for the All Games Mindset team here. He's going to watch this show. Maybe we'll re review in the future. This looks like woke garbage. It looks like she's going to be better than the Hulk. It looks like she's going to be stronger. She made a, a comment about dating in her 30s when there's like a whole stigma on the internet going on now. And she's like on Tinder. And she, you know, uh, uh, of course she's a lawyer. I, I, I don't, I never read the, I never read the comics. Maybe she's a lawyer. I don't know. Who knows? So, you know, she's a hardworking woman in her 30s. Single, of course. No children, of course. Why would you have children in your 30s? Right. So, of course, strong, independent woman. Bruce Banner is acting like a woman. Uh, I mean, the CGI is not that great. I, I am personally just not a fan of the trailer. It's not having me. I'm not, I'm never going to watch the show. I'm going to go on Wikipedia and I'm going to find out the plot from there just to review it possibly in the future for, your, for you guys. So, I'm not a big fan. Thought it was kind of garbage. CGI is not good. No. Mike, what are your thoughts? Yeah, I so I, I agree with most of the stuff that you're saying. So, yeah, the CGI did, for She-Hulk did not look good at all. I was not a big fan of it. Something that I did like was seeing uh, Polanski, you know, Abomination. I like Abomination. I do like Abomination. Because, you know, this, it makes sense. She-Hulk is, uh, Jennifer Walters, I'm pretty sure that's her name, is the uh, cousin, I'm pretty sure, of Hulk, Bruce Banner. And she, in the comics, how she gets her powers and stuff is through a blood transfusion between the two because she was going to die or something. And so he gives her his blood and... Because of that, he and he has you know the Hulk inside of his veins pretty much with the gamma and everything. She ends up getting the power as well of being the Hulk. So she's an attorney who has the power of you know becoming Hulk, like a woman version of Hulk. Of course, you gotta make a few more, you know. And, gotta, we, oh. and so, okay, so everyone, we we have a video that's gonna be probably going up either after this video or a couple of videos after this, um, talking about the MCU. We review, we pretty much react and watch. Nerdrogs video when that comes up I'll, I'll put it in the cards of this video just in case if anyone sees this after the fact you can go and watch that um and we talk a lot about that but we're not talking about that right now we're talking about this trailer yeah i'm not i'm, not, I'm not gonna watch it no. it it does not look as interesting as i was hoping it, it it doesn't seem that it's more for me it feels like it's more for other people which is fine that that is perfectly so okay with me i don't spot, really yeah. i don't really care i'm probably gonna watch it anyway because 
there's certain things that I want to see. I want to see what they're doing with Banner specifically. I want to see what they're doing with Abomination, and I want to see the world building that they're going to do with this character specifically because I know that she's, I think she's going to be working in New York, which also means that Matt Murdock is going to be in New York as well because uh, No Way Home pretty much established that he is there. And so hopefully we might see him in the show. That's mostly what I'm hoping for. You know, I can't always get what you hope for, but uh, I will put that expectation that he might show up because she is a lawyer, he is a lawyer, that they might meet maybe not for a long period of time in the show, you, just to make sure that she doesn't get overshadowed by Matt Murdock, even though Matt, I feel like Matt Murdock is a more interesting character, but this is supposed to be her show, so it's fine. I, I think don't I, mind. Yeah. As long as he, as long as like he can be in there for at least five minutes, it'll make me happy because Matt Murdock is a really cool character, and, and so is Daredevil and stuff. But and he it makes sense to, for him to be there. It doesn't seem like a you know a throwaway cameo yeah. or something. Yeah, guys. My my final thoughts is that after we are done recording this video, I'm gonna go on Tinder and start swiping. Hopefully, I'll get a date. So wish me good luck on that. Uh, I'm not in my thirties yet, but hopefully, I'll find a good girl and settle down and have kids. Who knows? Anyway, let us know your thoughts on the trailer. If you have seen it, down below in the comment section. Also, make sure you hit the like button on the video if you like the video. And you can subscribe to the channel as well. And if you like, you can donate to our channel. There's a cash app in the link in the description below. And with that said, we're going to see you guys in the next video. Where